Hi, I'm Bob Truckee, and I'm going to talk to you about uh, how to make a wooden bowl. So the first thing you need to do is you need to start with some wood. And the other day we, uh, uh, we had th this terrible tragedy where trees were falling down and everything. As wood turners, we love that because that means there's free wood somewhere around there, as long as nobody gets hurt. So the next thing you need to do is get a lathe. The lathe on the, on the left is, uh, is a jet mini lathe. It costs about 500 bucks. The one on the right is a VB36. It costs about 10 grand. So uh, the one on the left, I can turn a bowl about 10 inches. The one on the right, about 6 feet. Uh, then you've got, got to buy a bunch of tools. Um, <laughs> it's just required. And you also have to keep them sharp. A lot of the tools you'll buy at first, you'll, you'll say, oh, this is going to do it, but it doesn't. So in, then you get something else. So now the next thing you need to do is you need to lay out how that bowl is going to be in the wood. And uh, it's important because the grain direction makes a difference as how, how the bowl looks and uh, its functionality. So uh, this is an actual uh, piece of, of wood uh, that's a, uh, maple. And what we did was we take the blank, mark it out, and with a chainsaw, which is always a good thing, cut the corners off so we can put it on the lathe. Um, here what we're doing is attaching a faceplate with screws to the back of the, of the, the piece of wood. Um, this piece of wood probably weighed around 30 pounds, so you want to make sure that it, it's um, secured well um, because you don't want that thing flying off at you. So the next thing you do is you um, try to shape the bottom of the bowl. Just try to get a rough shape of what it's going to look like. So get rid of bark and stuff like that, uh, checks and everything else that might be in it. And once you're done with that, you actually have to put a tenon on the bottom of the bowl. And the, the tenon is there. To, uh, we're going to use another type of chuck in a minute uh, to hold that uh, hunk of wood again on the lathe, but this time not using screws because we don't want to mar the bottom of the, of the bowl, which will actually be in use. So um, you continue working on the outer, outer shape, um, taking off lots of shavings. Uh, this is kind of the fun part. Uh, by the way, th this entire project that we're doing here, uh, I used one tool. And uh, the, to make this entire bowl took about an hour. So now we do uh, some more fine tuning. And the fine tuning here is we're using a particular type of cut. It's called a shear cut. And you can see that the shavings are smaller, and it's, it's actually making uh, the bowl smoother and smoother. So now we're going to clean up the tops because soon we're going to turn it around. This piece of wood was wet uh, when, when I started with it and um, what the, the, the rule of thumb is you want to let it sit in a roughed out state for about six months um, before you actually finish it up. So here we, we're removing the face plate. Uh, you can see that the bowl now has some shape and um, we're about to put it back on the lathe. Um, uh, you know, just removing this, and and we'll about start on the on the bottom. So here's the chuck that I, I mentioned a second ago. Uh, that actually just works as a clamp on that tenon, so it will hold that piece of wood in there securely. It's only held by that. There's no uh, nothing else pushing on the other end. So um, we're going to get it down to about uh, one inch thick. The bowl itself is about 10 inches uh, in diameter, but we want to let it uh, get about 10 percent of it. So when it's dried, and it's important that you keep it consistent for that uh, one inch all the way around the bowl so that when it dries, um, it, it, it will dry evenly and things won't check. Um, so here we are checking the, the, the uh, diameter of the bowl and we're about to take it off. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the bowl off, I think, yep, and we're going to put it in its own shavings and put it in a bag for uh, about six months. You can do it shorter um, and take it take it out every once in a while and weigh it and to make sure the moisture has gone away. Um, but after six months, you take it out. We actually waited about 60 seconds, so you'll see the results in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> so now um, we've put the, the, the bowl back again on uh, with that tenon, and we're now putting the finished cuts on, on the bowl. Um, again, using a, a shear cut to uh, get rid of any fibers that have been raised. Now we finished the inside. Again, we've taken out a lot of material. We're trying to get it down here to about Oh, I'd say half an inch, three-eighths of an inch uh, wide. And um, maybe you can see it there that we also put a little uh, uh, decorative mark on it. Now we're going to finish the bottom of the bowl. What you see there in the white is actually a vacuum chuck. So the, the bowl is held onto the, the lathe strictly by vacuum, and you can finish the bottom up uh, so you don't have any screw holes. And at the end, uh, this is here's the bowl, uh, and you can sell it at a craft fair. Yeah. <laughs> That's right.